once upon a time, uh, there were dinosaur eggs about to hatch. And then here are the eggs. My story starts in a dark room where a an assassin is trying to kill my main character. So then Max says, okay, I think I get it now. See, I'm thinking outside the box because he's outside of the like panel. <laughs> That's clever. So um, I decided that the comic is going to be called Snow Stern Cat. And then I'm just doing like where it is, um, when it takes place, when, when it takes place and who are the characters. Yeah. Um, so basically this is the second page of the comic and uh, yeah. So it's okay, so basically um, Jen enters the party, kind of feels out of place. Her glasses are broken so she can't see so well. So she's just kind of sitting in the corner reading because she doesn't know how to party. In the second issue, you reveal that all these robbers have been working for the exterminator and just went about just went about the exterminator is about to spread man bug with bug spray. Somebody else comes, plasma comes in, who's like the in a row, comes in with a stun door and stuns the bad guy. Okay. This is also a sketch that I like during my weekend. Oh, that, that hair looks That's very good, good art. That's, yeah, but if you that's look at really the, good. I, I'm creating redesigns of all the characters from my original The Lester comic, so... I, I'm pretty proud of how they, it, they've come out so far, but... Uh, they're still nowhere near the level of some other classmates I've seen this year or last year or stuff. Can I say something? Sure. Uh, I also thought that way a while ago with others' art being like way better than mine, but I learned that the tip is just to go at your own speed and kind of try to ignore that because you are going to get at that point somewhere and I think your design is really cool. Oh, thanks. Me too. That's pretty motivational, actually.